Okay, my name is Kevin, New York City. I'm going to be uh, doing a ride review for my Stromer Elite bike I just recently purchased here in New York City. It is a e-bike hybrid electric pedal assist crossover and I'll go over the features of the bike after the ride but today I'm going to be riding into downtown Manhattan Greenwich Village where a lot of my clients are and according to Google Maps it takes approximately 43 minutes to go on a regular bicycle and it's about six miles so we're going to time it out and see how long it takes to get there with my Stromer Elite. Here we go. And I will be in full power mode, which does use more battery, but definitely gets you there a lot quicker. So here we go. at 20 miles an hour. And that is, if you use the throttle mode, it'll only go 20. But if you pedal, because I have the Elite model, 27 gears, it'll definitely go approximately 24.5 miles. recoup mode so when going down hills you can put it in recoup mode and pedal which turns the motor into a generator and supposedly regenerates the battery. I tried it but it doesn't really seem to regenerate the battery that much but I would imagine going down a very very long
friendly bike lane. Definitely gotta be careful. And here's where the motor comes in handy going up these grades, which normally is troublesome for most riders. You still have to ride the bike, which is a 60 pound bike. the LCD panel, which I'll go over later. If I take the subway, it's about 35 minutes. If I take my truck,
way. It's the bridge. On to the Williamsburg Bridge we go. This is the best part of this bike because most people can barely make it across this without walking their bikes. I have one hand on the wheel. Averaging 19 miles per hour. this bridge. It's a pretty steep incline for a long distance. Even coasting, I'm averaging 18 miles per hour.
far as respectable. There's a guy making a U-turn. So you will run into many obstacles riding a bike in New York City. You gotta be aggressive and you gotta be careful.
Okay, so according to that, it's 11.50, which means we made it in very good time, which you'll be able to see on the video timestamp itself. Here we are in Washington Square Park. Like I said, Google Maps said it would take 41 minutes. That is with a regular bicycle. This is definitely not a regular bicycle. <laughs> you can see the new World Trade Center building in the distance. We're on Thompson Street. Heading back down into Soho.
careful. disc brakes. This bike will stop on a dime. First time I had to stop short, it almost threw me forward. I had to hang on to the handlebars. But I learned my lesson. Tight squeeze. No, no. According to the bike, every time I hit the brakes, it does show recoup mode on the LCD panel. How much battery it's actually recouping is yet to be determined. Like a hybrid car, I don't know if it really works that well. here on this side. It's really hard to tell. They made it. They really didn't paint it green like the other ones. Now, these 
nice little pedestrian areas for people to hang out at. And now we're going to make our way back to the bike lane. And on our way back, we're at about 60% battery power, which is very good considering we've gone over 8 miles already. Make it up this with ease. here. So here we are at the midpoint of the bridge. See that side is for walkers and runners. This side is for bike riders, technically. You can see the view, if you can. It's Brooklyn side. Brooklyn side, river, Manhattan side. And away we go.
Why are you standing in the middle? See, that's what I'm talking about. People are retarded, basically. Everywhere you go in the world, you know, and the guy is like frozen, standing in the middle of a bike lane. Even his girlfriend looked out and like, are you crazy? But these are the type of things you will encounter if you want to find a bike in the hat. So I highly recommend you wear gloves and a helmet. I don't wear a helmet, but I recommend you do if you're not an avid rider. Now we're taking this right back onto Grand Street, which will lead us back to Brooklyn. We're in Brooklyn, technically. Glad I caught that guy on video so people see exactly what it's like dealing with pedestrians. A lot of pedestrians have earphones, earbuds, they don't hear what's going on, they have no clue, they're not paying attention, and they wonder why they get run over by bicycles. Jason, 
Bolton Street. This is the great Ryan Back Street to ride on. Especially with the sunshine. As you can see there.
winter's day. According to my uh, clock, it's 12:18. We left here in uh, Bedsty, my neighborhood, at 11:35. So technically, 25. Round trip, according to Google Maps, is 12 miles. hour and a half. So with my calculations, it took us 15 minutes to get in. Basically 16 minutes to get back. So you're talking a little more than a half an hour on this bike as compared to a regular bike which would be over an hour and a half ride. Not to mention you'd be tired. I feel great. Again, beautiful sunny day here in Brooklyn, New York. And I'll show you some of the features of the bike. Okay, I'd like to go over some of the uh, features of my Stromer Elite. Here is the LCD unit. And as you can see, we can turn this on holding the button in there it goes and as you can see you can scroll through basically different levels and there's the battery <clears throat> that's pedal assist power if you hold this button in it'll change and you can see it says POD, which is power on demand, which then the throttle here would work. Okay. So back to the LED or LCD panel, I should say. And we'll hold that back in, and you'll see it'll change. PAS, pedal assist. And this gives you the various uh, uh, display options that's uh, my average speed is 15.9 miles an hour I've gone 204 miles uh, 228 uh, miles so far I believe uh, that's the actual time 244 uh, the amount of time of riding I should say this is the actual time and zero miles an hour because that's where we're going and then if you go to let's see we'll go back to this there's battery there's power mode there's tour mode city mode and eco mode now down here you can see the hydraulic brakes which is a disc brake as well and you can see this is the Sun Tour Radon SR fork which is fully adjustable there's the adjuster right here with the speed lock adjuster so here are the hydraulic brakes and this is the Tektro Origa sub and you can see it's actually mineral oil that's used 
not hydraulic oil. And you can see when you shift, there is this display here that shows what gear you're in, as well as on this side, and very easy shifting. You just click it to go low gear, high gear, same on this for the changing of the derailleur, which has the three gears on this sprocket. And then, of course, back here is the rear hydraulic disc brake setup. This is the motor that drives the bike. And as you can see, the battery is within this framework. This is the piece that you plug in the charge. You press this button here to then get the battery with a key lock, as you can see here. And then the battery pops out, as you can see, from this compartment right here where it says Stromer. That's where the battery is. So as you can see, it's uh, very well constructed. Uh, this is a seat that I put on it because the seat that came with the bike actually is it's a great looking seat, but it is not comfortable, <laughs> especially in New York City streets. This is a Planet Bike gel in cushion seat from my last bike, and it's an awesome seat. So I highly recommend a really good, comfortable seat because this bike has no rear suspension, just the front fork suspension. And you can see as well, I put these really cool Ergon GP1 grips, which were custom made for, or I should say custom mounted on the bike. So you still have the throttle. And on this side, you have a bell, which is very important to alert people to get out of the way. So that's basically the setup. And then when you want to turn it off, hold it in. That's it. It's off, as it says. And it's fully adjustable suspension, front fork, like I said. Of course, you could adjust the seat level. And you can see I have my Ramon sticker, which was given to me by my late friend Arturo Vega from the Ramones. So, you know, you can customize, specialize it. I have this little bag here. Uh, which is a great bag, which I actually have mounted upside down because that's the way I like it. It just looks better, fits better with the bike. And you can carry a lock in there, or tools, or just any assorted small items. Uh, let's see. Derailleur here, SLX, Shimano, top of the line. It's a really high quality bike with excellent parts used and that's what makes it so special.